Hello everyone and welcome to um, another cage match type thing where we look at one card from Dominion Renaissance. So we're going to look at Border Guard today, which is this thing you see on your screen here. Um, plus one action, reveal the top two cards of your deck, put one into your hand and the other gets discarded. If both were actions, take the Lantern or the Horn. So the Lantern turns your border guards into things that reveal more cards and you yeah you reveal three and then discard two so you get to look at more and it takes all three being actions to take the horn so you have to either take if you get yeah top two would get you the lantern top three would get you the horn once per turn when you discard a border guard from play you may put it onto your deck so i'm not really sure how that works but we'll see anyways um where is border guard down there so i think you have to get action heavy first and then try to play with this thing so let's thin out a bit with Stuart and then see what we can do with this Border Guard, Lantern, Horn thing. Yeah, it takes all three actions, all three reveals to be actions to take the Horn. And when you discard it from play, you may put it onto your deck. The Border Guard. Okay, it looks like a filter. I don't really know what else to say about that. Anyways. So. Alright, in the interest of playing Border Guard, more often we will trash first with the Steward. I don't know if that's right or not, but that's what we're doing. Just to try to get the Border Guard to trigger. I'm a little bit scared to play too many here because of the Swindler, but we have to try it. <laughs> I could take a Ferry here. I mean, I could, but I'll just take the Silver. I should have taken the Ferry because, yeah, okay. We want to get the border guard to trigger, right? So there is that consideration. So we'll take our crown here instead of our den for the same reason. Um, again, I'll trash with the steward here instead of playing the border guard. Oh look, I'll I'll buy one here just because I can. Just because I can. Let me just switch on. Oh, Discord is on, never mind. Uh, okay, so I guess we crown this Swindler here. Copper to Chris Hovel into nothing. And I'll get another crown. Okay, here's the border guard, but I doubt it'll trigger. But at least it lets me reveal the top two cards of my deck and put one into my hand. So we'll see how that works out mine oh it worked i'm stunned so we'll take this steward to trash and i i cannot take the lantern right oh no no no, no. i can i have to take the lantern or the god okay let's take the lantern just because i don't know how that works so border guards will now turn up three things instead of two things and I get to choose one of three as opposed to one of two which is a bit more filter all right we get to do this again which is whatever okay and we'll get catacombs okay here's border guard again this time I have the lantern right here's the lantern uh, nice big text Reveals three cards and discard two. It takes all three main actions to take the horn. Okay. Okay, I see. I understand. So, border guard. Okay, didn't I don't get the option to take the horn. But I will take another border guard. Let's see if we can get the horn here. There's two crowns and a catacombs. Okay, crown, crown, and um, not catacombs. All right, we'll just take the crown here. Um, crown the steward. I should have trashed on the Necropolis. I don't know why I'm keeping it around. Trash. 
two coins. Of course, more border guards make border guards better. I could crown this border guard. I don't see a point in doing that. But we'll just play one here and see if we get to take the horn province. I don't care. Right? We don't. We not We don't care about that. Um, I will take a crown. Okay. So this happened. So these border guards will do nothing now, which is kind of bad. Um, I should play this one well. Yeah, okay. So, um, I want to get the horn. Why can't I get the horn? I'll take another crown. Let's see if we can get the horn. I have what three treasures in the deck? Copper, two silver. Alright, so we'll see. Okay, that still didn't work. We'll, I guess we take the crown. Let's do the border guard. This still didn't work. Okay, I'm gonna take the copper because no, there's a silver in here. No, there isn't. Oh, there was, but I didn't find it. Okay. Okay, very good. So we take the steward, of course. And when you discard a border guard from play, you may put it onto your deck. Oh, I think I know how this works now. I think discard from play counts as um, when you clean up, I think. Let's play this. Put in hand. Oh, okay, I have no money. Okay, that's fine. Um, steward. Yeah, look, so clean up, I could top deck, I only top deck one of them? What? Why? I thought I would top deck all three. Or is it because I only had the horn midway through that turn? Once per turn, when you discard a water guard. Okay, all right, let's um try it again here, see how it works. I want the steward, I guess. Crown, crown, catacombs. Yeah, yeah, this is not interesting, right? Well, maybe I only had one in play that turn, I don't know. Okay, let me try put another one in play just to see if I'll get two on top. Two coins here um, I guess we could get our bank am I missing something I top decked one border guard huh okay uh, steward so the filter here is nice we'll take the crown and we'll get the catacombs now crown crown catacombs yeah, okay, this super doesn't matter. Duchy into Duchy, Copper into Curse, and one more. Curse into Curse, Curse into Curse. Alright, I have all three Border Guards in play, we'll keep that in mind. So I guess when you start to green, it gets worse, huh? Is there anything in the log? No, apparently you can only top deck one of them. Wait, let me click the other button and see how it works. <laughs> One minute. Okay, border guard, get me border guard. Border guard, get me a crown. Sure, why not? Crown, crown, swindler. Silver. Uh, silver. Province into province, curse into curse. Bank. I guess we'll just buy a province. Okay, if I click discard here, what happens? Nothing. So apparently I can only do one of them. When you discard a border guard, once per turn. Oh, once per turn. It's only one time. So I can only ever top deck one border guard. But that is actually quite good still, especially if you have the thing. Lantern, you get to reveal three. Discard two. Takes all three green actions to take the horn. Okay. So it's a nice filtery 
effects. What is this hand? I don't even I don't even know. Um I I guess I'll take a crown here. Coins, coins, crown me. Okay, so let's see. Let's play this one. Alright, so I'm not going to take this border guard. Instead, I'm going to discard it. Okay, so that one got discarded. So the prompt should come up soon. What is this? Sure, we'll get another crown. Yeah. Okay, so it doesn't... Okay, my mistake, right? So it doesn't count for when you clean up. You have to discard it using something else like catacombs will work as well. Border guard itself works. So that's why I only received the one there. Okay, I understand now. I understand how the card works. That's step one. That is step one. Okay, border guard. Give me a crown. So we'll crown, crown, border guard. Catacombs put into my hand. A crown, so we could top deck that border guard. Play an action twice. Crown, catacombs, whatever. Put in hand. Just play this. Do this one. We'll take a crown. We have to take the steward. Smash. Curse into curse. Duchy into. I don't know. Yeah, take more mines. Whatever. Swindler. Okay, two coins, 12 million, dominate. Right, so let me see if I could manage to top deck a border guard here. So I'll crown this one. See if I can top deck two border guards. I mean, the deck is getting bigger, so it gets more difficult, but we'll try it just for trying its sake. Okay, crown, border guard. Oh, okay. Wait, no. I could have discarded both of them. I'm an idiot. Okay, never mind. Crown, catacombs, show up with an hand. Show up with an hand. Crown, crown, swindler. Silver into swindler. Mine into mine. Good. See, game is done now. Hooray. Dominate. Okay. So, I understood how the card works. Very good. Uh, let's see if we can make more use of the card now that we know how it works here. So, you actually have to discard it using something in in the kingdom, right? It doesn't work on cleanup. So we establish that, and I'm not sure which is better, the lantern or the horn. So here we have it again. We have familiar, though, which is a pain. We have doctor. So doctor can get rid of your border guard here to top deck it, but... You only gain that ability once you have the horn. So it's not something we need to worry about. And again, the first trigger for the border guard is to... I actually have to take a phone call, so I'll stop recording here. Oh, I could mute this.
Okay, I'm I'm back. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Had to take our phone call there. Things are not going so well with this border guard shenanigans thing. I ignored familiar for too long. Which is, you know, my own fault, but whatever, we'll see what we could do. Uh, let's get curse. Okay, cool. I did buy a border guard, so we'll see if we can get it to fire. Somehow. Somehow. Uh, my opponent has not managed to get his to fire. Uh, the apothecary with the border guard is very nice. So here, for instance, he could line up the border guard to get two, reveal, two actions revealed. Uh, he has a couple cobblers. <laughs> I have zero of them. Um, okay, okay, I don't need two doctors, so I can get rid of those, familiar, apothecary, and we name curse here, curse hits, very good, so here, um, yeah, I'm gonna take one more familiar, because that seems good to smash those, and then perhaps a silver. Okay, so still his border guard has not managed to work. Still again, unfort unfortunate. But I expect the deck to be drawn here. Alright, so once the border guard starts to work, we'll have to make a choice between lantern and horn, right? Let's see. I'm not interested in, in, in winning the game. I'm interested in understanding how border guard works with the horn and the lantern and we'll think about it and see which one is more valuable so i'll play this border guard first to try to hit two actions <laughs> that is the opposite of two actions <laughs> two non-actions okay so let's do this Alright, so we can get two familiars out here, familiar number one, familiar number two, dungeon, get rid of this, and then I guess we can name curse, are there two curses in there? There were two curses in there, very good. Okay, so I could give my opponent more border guards with a messenger, but I still am playing doctor, so let's not do that. Um, he has a work devil to get imps. I'll just take a an apothecary because border god loves that okay cool 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 he might get to land one curse here okay so there the border god triggers let's see which one he takes uh lantern or horn he takes what is that a horn so when you discard a border god you may put it onto your deck very good so i did the opposite the last game i took the lantern first uh now he has both of them so who cares I see, so when you have the lantern, okay, I understand, now that's why the wording on the lantern is as such, it takes all three being actions to take the horn, because you reveal three now, so, um, Border Village says, okay, if you turn up three actions, or however many cards you turn up, if you get th that many actions, if you turn up that many actions, then you get a bonus, a prize. Okay, no problem. So apothecary, uh, my border guard will not trigger here, which is too bad. But there's not much I could do about it. But on the other hand, the deck has been drawn, but I didn't get to do any th tricks. Okay, so we did curse my opponent a lot. Um, I still want to play the doctor so i'll take a silver sorry border guard sorry about that uh, my opponent also bought a copper last turn so there is that anyways he has an imp so cool he also has the lantern on the horn so we should try to get that back from him so if you take the lantern first is a bit more difficult to get the horn because you have to like have all three being actions uh, but of course you might want to have the filter effect more than the discard effect here so it, it depends on the situation um, so all in all it seems like border guard combined with the horn and the lantern filter very nicely can look through 
larger portions of the deck and try to find important cards much like Ray's does of course Ray's has the drawback or so-called drawback of trashing a card so there is um, that difference with the Ray's the apothecary okay so I can just pick up one of these doctors right pick up one discard the other okay so border guard and I can take something from my opponent so I guess I'll take the horn from him I probably won't have the horn for very long but oh well so here I'll put these down and I'll go ahead I don't know what the top card is but I'll name copper get a hit which is nice and I should have been I should name potion at some point there's just too much junk now um yeah I'll take our border guard here okay so remember what I said last game about how it has to be something that you actually discarded I never discarded any border guards here so this has to be from um clean up yeah it says clean up okay so apparently you can only have a top deck one border guard yeah right because I had the horn when you discard a border guard you may put it onto your deck so any form of discard is sufficient but you can only put one there so it okay is doesn't let you stack a bunch of border guards on top of your deck yes it is <laughs> That is definitely the goal. So still, wow, I'm surprised he hasn't managed to take the horn. He played five of them. Still hasn't managed to take the horn. Maybe I can take the lantern this turn and see what happens there. I'm not sure what to do with this game. There's pathfinding. Oh, cool. You could put your pathfinding on the border guards. That's nice. If you ever get eight. And then all your draw problems are solved. He probably has eight here. Yeah, so pathfinding goes on the border guard. Yeah, okay, so that's nice. That is cool. Um, I guess I drop these two. And I have a spare doctor, so let's do that. Okay, so let's play an apothecary. Yeah, okay. So I can do this now. Take the Yeah, I want this one, thank you. I'll take the lantern. And then reveal three. I would like a doctor, please. And I can trash an estate. I can also trash a doctor. So I guess let's trash the estate. Yay, we trashed an estate. Okay, very good. What now? I don't know what to do now. Um, I'm just going to buy a silver. Top deck one of my Bora guides. Okay, very good. Hopefully I can trash the doctor next. I wonder how many curses my opponent has. Three of them. Okay, very good. Alright. So there goes one of those pieces. So he takes the horn from me. And the lantern is gone now. Bye. Bye lantern. I suppose he'll just buy another border gun. Oh yeah, his draw is very good now because he put the pathfinding on the border guards. So I don't think there's much point in playing this out. Uh, my opponent will win, obviously. Buys two border guards, yeah. Very good. And then can buy a province next turn. Okay, let's do the border guard first. Alright, two silvers, wow. And this one also missed. Okay, 
so I think we'll stop here. I think we've seen everything we have to see about Border Guard from here. It's just a matter of buying provinces. Alright, so let's uh, try a different kingdom now with Border Guard in it. We're learning, we're learning. Now we know how you can only top deck one. It doesn't matter how you discard either from cleanup or from other things like dungeon in that case or the doctor. Alright, so. I'm ready, let's see if he is ready. Yeah, he's ready. He's ready. Let's get some more border guard action going. Alright, so we have villain here. You saw that in the last video. It's an attack, discard attack, it gives you two coffers. Okay, so we're going to do the border village open because it can find our remake very quickly. There's nothing much to do here. Probably just buy money and provinces. Okay, very good. Um, I'm not even sure if you could do anything meaningful with the border guard. Probably. It's nice to see three cards and pick one. Okay. So here, I can get our ball, I can get our witch, I can get our mint. Let's get the mint. And I guess I have to take silver. So I don't expect the border guards to trigger. Meaning, I don't expect to see two action cards very soon here. I, I could mint a silver and get another remake. I'm not sure what to get. I can get more border guards. That seems cool. Let's um let's get some of those. Let's get some of those. Which sure. I'll take the silver. Turn this into a silver tin this into something or the other um i i, I doubt that is good what i got on money but we'll see i'm not playing that by the way i'm not planning to play that but it is what ends <laughs> what ended up happening here he has the witch which is fine I'm gonna buy a tactician here because tactician is cool. Um, I said I was gonna buy it. Oh look, it turned up two actions. Wow. Okay, I said I'm gonna buy a tactician. So which is more valuable for me here? To have this top deck, I think. Um, Keep the mint aside for now. This will not activate. Didn't think so. Inheritance is a possibility. Can inherit estates to be border guards. Certainly an idea. But let's do the tactician first. And let's top deck our border guard. Very good. Alright, so we have a horn. And also how taking the horn makes it easier for us to get the lantern. Um, again, I don't expect to get the lantern just because I have so much treasure in the deck, but we will hopefully, eventually, it'll work out somehow. Not on this tactician turn, however. The witch will come in, I can trash that curse immediately with swift effect. I can even save a border guard, which is kind of nice. So the durations aren't good for the border guard thing because they stay out of the deck a turn. Good to know, good to know. Um, play this for coolness. Oh, I could have minted and then... Um, yeah, okay. Now we know. Anyways, I am going to trash the mint though. For gold. Oh, for hireling. Hireling? No, for gold. Should be for gold. And I'm going to inherit... Border guards and... Buy an estate. Hooray. I don't know why. But we'll see. I should get another terminal, I guess. Oh, look, I could get the lantern now. So we do want the tactician. Lantern. Um, I think I just buy a province. I don't know what, there, what else there is to do. I have these super border guards now. 
I said if like curses me too much, attack the shun should fix everything, so we're good, I think. Yeah, so here's one witch. Oh and there's our province. Oh I see. Um yeah, let's get the Haven out. Let's heave on our border guard. Play a border guard, take the silver. Buy another one of these. So the filter is doing Filter has been very nice. Oh, a higher link for my opponent and a gold. Okay, cool. Um, okay, let's take a silver here and then the province. Doesn't matter. We'll take another one of these. Just top deck this. Okay, cool. So this is very good. I'll probably end up playing the tactic on this turn. Trying to save a few things. And then I could remake a couple curses out gold. So border guard. I I said I'm pl trying to play tactician, right? So let me have on this one. Uh, maybe I should have have on the remake, but whatever. So I'll get two border guards, one from the haven, one from the this guard, and then I should be able to trash that curse. Maybe definitely by a province. Okay, so here's a border guard. I'll take the remake, border guard, I'll take the curse, border guard, I'll take the gold, trash this, trash this, um, province and estate is good, top deck here. Okay, so we always, having this here is very nice and I'm seeing three cards instead of the usual two, so border guard, I will take the silver, hopefully I can draw the gold, yeah okay, that was lucky, but... Wait, 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 wait. the estate only turned up two of them. Oh, because of the different name. Okay, so now we learn something else, inherited border guards do not behave like regular border guards. Oh, do not behave like border guards with the horn or lantern. It just behaves like uh, an ordinary one without horn or without lantern. Okay, good. <laughs> not with inheritance. Very good. Very good. Alright, so I still have some time to play a few more. So we learned that about the inheritance there. I was lucky to get both the horn and the um, lantern. So we have crop rotation showing up here alongside border guard. So this is more for the end. You may discard a victory card for plus two cards at the start of your turn. There's also treasurer. Oh, another one of these artifacts. So this is the second idea we're featuring from Renaissance artifacts. Start of your turn plus one coin if you have the key and the treasurer gives you the key. You have options, you can take the key. Or you can trash a treasure from your hand, up to you. Anyways, we'll go with Page and Iron Manga. There's no trashing aside from treasure. Uh, Taxman trashes, but doesn't get rid of the card. So I'll try to get a treasure just to again, you know, activate the border guard action. The the filter is nice. The filter is nice. Very, very helpful for Okay, so my opponent gets the treasure, which is very good. For them, do I get a treasurer? I do, which is lucky. Uh, exchange. Yeah, it helps you to be more reliable, the, the, the filter from Border Guard. Yeah, Border Guard for my opponent, and it cycles you around to your more important cards more quickly. So I took the Iron Monger because it kind of does the same thing like the Border Guard. It goes through two cards. Treasurer out for my opponent. Artisan is very nice. Take this one. Treasurer. I do not want to gain that from the trash. I could gain the key, right? But I don't need the money. So, just another Iron Manga, I believe. Okay, so the warrior is up front here, which is nice. The artisan is very, very nice. Yep, 
A throne room. Okay, very good. Another Bora God. Alright, we can keep this one. Play this warrior. And we'll get our artisan now. Get rid of that, please. And also get rid of that. That is not an artisan. This is an artisan. Alright, very good. We'll trash here and I'll go for crop rotation because I can't get the estates out of the deck. I, it should be another artisan to be honest, but we'll try different things. What did he discard an estate? Okay. Yeah, this should 100% be another artisan instead of the crop rotation. Because I doubt I'll need the crop rotation. Let's trash this. Um. Fine, I'll take the artisan. Alright, so that border. Oh, yeah, ah, very good. You see, even in decks where he's only trashed a couple cards, right? But he's put in a, a few action cards here and there, and it triggered. So he, it's not um, totally unreasonable. You don't have to get super thin to get the double action reveal from the border guard and a nice horn for my opponent. That's going to help cycling a lot. To always be top deck in that border guard. Alright, so we keep that. Okay, fine. Let's go for the crop rotation since you so badly want to see crop rotation. Okay. Alright, so that one missed, but picks up another border guard. Also missed. Okay. So it's like the scry and pool things. Like scry and pool still works even though you're not totally trashed it can still work and works very well too okay an action please no all right no problem hero okay we'll gain the bank which is fine i don't have draw so i should get no i should just get the artisan there's no point to get an envoy like here, it'll just be an iron manga. Okay, so that border guard missed. As did that one. Artisan, I'll top deck a throne room, I guess. Top deck a throne room. I'll, now I'll get the envoys. Yeah, okay, so we could drop the champion and then throw in the iron manga. And my idea is, okay, I'll see Artisan, so all the Artisans will get converted into Envoys, and then we have Draw that way. But um, I haven't been tracking the Shuffle super well to know whether or not the board got... He has had bad Shuffles, because it seems like I'm a bit ahead here, even though he has this consistent border guard for some time now. So maybe I'm just getting lucky. Or maybe the border guard didn't do much. I f I, it has to do something. Like, Budge getting rid of that stuff, that's real good. Also, the treasurer. I haven't trashed too many things with the treasurer. Should be another artisan here. Oh, I have crop rotation. Oh my god. I have crop rotation coming. Okay, so he bought a crop rotation. So I'll get rid of this to draw two. Wow, so I could throw in the Artisan, even, which seems better. So let's champion out here. Because um, I can get two Envoys. So let's throw an Artisan, pick up Envoy, top deck this thing. Um, I could pick up another Throne Room. Let's do that instead. Put this on top, and then we're going for Throne, Envoy. Gonna discard the Iron Monger, of course. But we get to play it one more time. Alright, it's a bit more difficult, except not really. So, get rid of that. Get rid of that one. Get. No, we keep that. Okay. So, here, trash, and just province, province storm. So, I seem to be doing okay. Even without the border guard. I don't know if I just drew well. I know I did, did draw well up until warrior. 
But beyond that, I'm not sure. So Border Guard misses. Ah, so he gets to take the lantern now. Good. So he should be fairly reliable. I can be as well if I use the artisan to top deck. So I'm not concerned about that. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Those were a lot of cards. Seven, nine, yeah. Yeah, why do we have banks with trash and treasures? That wasn't smart. Alright, throne room, please. Top deck, let's go for a throne. Envoy. And one more time. Alright, so. Iron Monga. Get rid of that, please. Iron Monga, get rid of that. Play an Envoy. It's gonna discard the Throne Room, which is fine. Throne, Artisan. So I'll take this, I'll just top deck this. I'll take the Envoy, and top deck the Envoy. And then I'll take the Iron Monga, top deck the Iron Monga. Alright, Treasurer. Trash this. Right, you don't even need to play the bank. Okay, very good. I think we're good to go here. To tie the game, maybe. Um, deny the artisan. Deny the envoy. Yeah, we'll probably end up tying the game here. So I didn't get any border guards, but it worked out for me. And even I'm playing without horn and lantern. Why? Why is that the case? I'm not sure. Not sure at all. Taxman. Sure. Discard this thing. Discard the artisan. I don't know if he'll try to do things with Dutchies here. I hope not. Just take the tie and move on, please. Oh, the tax man is to fight for palace points. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, fine. You can do that. I can do that too, but I'm not going to. Why is this upside down? What is this? This is nonsense. <laughs> I don't know on what action that throne room is for. Yes, yeah, so he's getting lots of duchies. Fine, fine, fine. I'll just take the provinces. Takes the key, yeah, good, fine. Have all the artifacts, it's no, no big deal. Um, okay, yeah, crop rotation is here. Um, okay. Alright, I'm going to resign here because there's no point playing further. We probably won't learn much more about Border Guard here. So, I'm going to resign. And we'll get another kingdom with Border Guard in it. I could do all the things he was doing, but I didn't. I didn't care. Like I even have more more artisans, right? Okay, so let's try again with some Border Guard action. We have about 15, 20, 30 minutes maybe before we call it a day. All right, so let's get the Border Guard stuff rolling again here. So, action dense decks likes border guards. Border guard likes action dense decks. So he went for tracker border guard. Points of the basilica. Hello. Um, I don't know what this looks like. Knights probably. Probably knights. Uh, there's not much trash in here, so I don't know how much value you're going to get from this border guard. But we'll try. Um, okay, we'll take the knight, Natalie. Sia is actually very, very good here. Because you can't trash. Oh, I didn't show you all the Sia, okay. Plus one card, plus one action. Reveal the top three cards of your deck. Put the ones costing two to four into your hand. Put the rest back in any order. So I'm going to get one CR first, because that probably gets me to five many, many times. Hey, look, I can top deck Natalie. That's cool. The knights are not that big of a deal, because Guardian is there, but top deck CR, please. Yeah. And 
Natalie. I can gain lots of water guides with Natalie. Hurry. Let's see if my opponent goes for a guardian here. I guess not, or they might, they have a coin token. Yeah, okay, fine. That's fine. Um, see ya. Huh. So I will top deck up what I got here. Yeah, it's just too bad, eh? So let's go ahead and top deck it. And buy it. It's cool. Nice, so a lot of cycling done there. Pretty good. See ya. We'll take the silver, thank you. Um, I We'll take more seers, honestly. Until he starts to go after knights, like, I, I'm not gonna take Michael. Michael is probably good enough, though. I probably should take Michael. So a lot of border guards lead to a lot of cycling. Very good. Oh, that's a nice one. Trashing on an estate, even. Probably could go for Michael. Goes for more Seers. Okay, no problem. No Guardian in play, so I'll probably hit him here. Take this Seer, very nice. Uh, picking up estates, as usual. We'll take this. Get rid of our Seer. We'll take Michael. Michael is good too. Sylvia, I'm not too keen on. Okay, so see, uh, yeah, Guardian goes in play there. Let's see, nothing. Um, we take this because my opponent is defended. Very good, very good one to have there. Could be Plaza Border Guard, let's do that. Oh, we could top deck, how nice. Okay, very good. A lot of actions here. Hopefully, Border Guard will trigger soon. Hopefully, Border Guard will trigger soon. So we play these first, I think. Oh, very nice boon there. So the Guardian is not in play, so I'll get to hit my opponent with Michael. Oh no, putting back one there. Very good. Very good. So he has eight Basilica points, but no big deal. With no trash in here, I think the border guards become nice. Especially if you get to have three of them all at once. Not three of them all at once, what I mean is the thing where you see three. Um, oh, oh look at this. Sia can set up your border guards. What do you know? Hooray, and I'll take the Sia here. Yeah. Um, We'll take the horn first and then the lantern just because it's easier to get the lantern the second. So Sia does that thing. Can discard here. Tracker. Gain a silver. Don't want to top deck it. Play Michael for nothing. Um, Just a Sia. Or more border guards. Let's get us here and top deck it. Because we're already top decking a border guard, which is nice. So we'll play the Sia first and try to set up our border guard. Just like what happened last time. Alright, so very good. What is this? A border guard to take Basilica points. What? No, that's at the top. Buys a Sia. Very good. Okay, so there were two actions, but one of them was a tracker. So we know a Sia is on top, so let's try this, and it worked excellently. And we'll take the Lantern now. So now we'll see three, discard two. Um, I guess we go with the Sia. Okay, cool, cool. I want to play Plaza first. And then the border guard. No guardian, so we'll take Michael. And one more Sia. And I 
No, the border guard will trigger our shuffle, so we won't play it. So let's just get Michael done. Did we kill our gold? Is that what happened? Yeah, we did. Alright, cool. Good to know. Let's just get more seers and top deck it. And top deck our border guard. So, yeah, this is nice now. I have the lantern and the horn. My opponent, of course, can't take it, but he's not been successful in doing so yet. Water guard misses again. Ah, this is excellent. This should let the border guard. No, I guess they were all treasures because of the discarding. Okay. I thought that top deck in effect would let him take one of the horn or lantern, but no. Are both um, guardians going into play here? No, just the one. Okay, no problem. Let's go for a Sia. Alright, Sia drew one, which is nice. Sia drew a lot. Two there. That's excellent. Border guard. Um, I don't care for Natalie, but Natalie is a gainer. I think I would play a tracker on Natalie. Uh, yeah, we don't care about Michael because my opponent is defended. We'll take the Seer. Play the Seer, draw the pouch. Um, I want to play one more border guard, but that turned out to be a terrible idea. Plaza. Discard this thing. So tracker first, then Natalie, so I can top deck this thing. Alright. So I'm gonna go ahead, take the last Sia, and take the last border guard. So Sia draws border guards, border guards draw other things. That's the interaction I'm hoping for here. Then we'll just go after provinces. It's like I don't care about the end game at all. Whatever happens, happens. Right, so my opponent has managed to make a nice deck here with these seers and the border guards. A lot of cards drawn by these seers. And still, the border guards have not been able to get their horn or lantern yet. Wisp is good too, with all these border guards around. Uh, I assume the guardian is in play. Province, sure. Yeah, okay. Good, good. Alright, we drew one. And we'll take a Sia. Sia should draw something. Then Border Guard pick up Sia. Sia picks up something. Sia didn't pick up anything there. Wow. So Border Guard. Yeah, so we could pick up the coppers here. If we have more Sias, then we can... Yeah, pick up the remainder. See ya. Yeah. Okay. Cool, cool. Let's go for Tracker first. Get rid of these two. Natalie. I don't know. I don't want to gain anything with Natalie. Silver. Done reacting. Okay, so we'll just take our province here and move on. Um, yeah. So what you could do too, if you're able to trigger the shuffle, is just take all the cards that cost less than two or more than five into your hand, and then discard the ones costing two to four, so that when you reach the end of the shuffle, your seer can pick everything up nicely. But I don't have that much draw to do that. I don't. I don't. So tracker ten and two by is fine. So we'll I'll probably play one more turn and then resign here, regardless of the position. Just to get some more games in with this border guard. Alright, we'll take the Sia. Oh he took the horn from me. I didn't notice that. Okay, I get the horn back. Very good. Sure. 
take this here this here draw something um, right so here like I'll take the copper yeah so I'll take this here here and then play this here uh, <laughs> waste of my time um, tracker Michael does nothing uh, okay so we got there all right so we will probably get one more game And then call it an, uh, an evening for border guard. Alright, so we have five and two and familiar and no way to trash. That's ugly. Um I don't know what to do here. The only way you trash is with trader. But it seems stupid to buy a trader on five. I'm gonna buy a lur I was gonna say Lurka. Um, I don't know what to buy. Let's buy Shepard. Forget it. I will buy a Luka. It could be Den. Probably Den is better. Yeah, Luka. Why did I get a Luka? Oh, to get a Familiar. Okay. And then we'll get a Trader. Um, yeah, here's the Trader. And then... He doesn't have... Lurker, so I'll just put this one in the bin. And let's get one more Lurker, then I could go after the border guards. I feel. Hey, Storm, that was a nice, nice card. Nice, nice memes. Okay. So I'll take this out. Wait, wait, what? That is not what I wanted to do. Silly trader thinking that um, I wanted to exchange my familiar for a silver. Alright, let's get the border guard roll in here, so we can see that Sia, um, border guard more often, what did I do? Okay, I don't care. So we're doing this, trash this, pick up border guard. Nice, this is a very nice shepherd. Ooh, coming in hot, curses. Very bad for shepherd. So do I play border guard first, and then shepherd? We play shepherd first. Den of sin, yep. Um, okay, border guard, let's border guard one more time. We get the familiar. Then we can discard these two. Ah. So I can take this out. I I'll put a storeroom in there because I kind of want a storeroom. Okay, border guard again. Okay, so if he curses me now, probably he won't because he. Ay, look at that. He dodged that. That's cool. Another familiar. Sure. Let's get drop one. Luca, pick up storeroom. Done reacting, trader, trash up copper. Alright, so we're looking for an estate here with this border guard. Hey, we found it. I could have picked up the border guard instead there. Yeah, okay. I don't know where his things are. I'll just put our familiar in the bin because it's not actually that important. Um, familiar first, then border guard. I don't know. But a lot of estates went by there. Okay. I have four. Let's get more shepherds. Probably wrong. So my shepherd is still there, so I should try to look for it. Ooh, no luck. So let's just get through all of this stuff. And I can get a couple of border guards. Let's do that. 
Hopefully I could put the last three cases in my opponent's deck here. Den of Sin is good. Let's go Water God. Wow, two cases. And so we get to do the thing, right? Reveals three cards. Huh. I think I want the horn. Alright, well we get this instead. Oh, which also gives me the lantern. Haha, <laughs> would you look at that? Okay. So we just trash here. And move on. Should be border guards to come. This should be a border card on top of my deck. Because I'm top decking that. Cool. Oh, oh, I was hoping to do that. Did I get... I didn't even get one in. Okay, so that's bad. Trashing a potion for four silver. So many silvers. Yeah, all the familiars are here, right? So familiar. Border guard. But we have super border guards now. So it doesn't matter what I take. Right. And. Huh. I was thinking about I stayed there. Let's take the border guard and just keep getting those. And look, I could block the not curses. <laughs> Alright, border guard. Okay, we have to take the familiar there. Familiar. Familiar. Border guard. Sure, we'll take the border guard. The last one should give us some junk, right? Which we can trash with the um, trader. Okay, more border guards. Well, um, okay, I'll just take this couple. Trash this thing. Take an estate now. Top deck this because I have a lot of border guards. I don't need that many. Den of Sin. Very good. Oh, there's a lost city in the bin. Why didn't I take that out? Okay. Um, I guess border guard is the obvious choice. Familiar. Familiar. Ooh. Keep the trader because we probably draw into junk. We need to trash. We did. Excellent. Trash that. I can't buy an estate, which is too bad. And we'll top deck a border guard. I th think I have another shepherd. I think I'm the one with two shepherds, but he has none. I don't know. Oh, his border guards could steal my things, but so far I'm doing a good job of getting them. Getting double action reveals, triple action reveals, trashes are familiar. Yeah, the familiar doesn't do anything. Uh, he has a lot of silver, so he could have a lot of money here. That's not a lot, but enough to buy a province. I was expecting more. Oh, nice. Okay, so border guard, choo choo chewy. Do I take the lurker? I don't know. Sure, let's take the lurker. Ah, this is what I was looking for. So I can do these two. Very nice. So we have the trader in hand as well. Border guard. Border guard. Give me the lost city, please. Thank you. Um, I'm just going to put a lost city in the bin because I don't care if he gets it. And this could be a state, could be border guard. I think I want the last border guard. Okay, very good. We have an estate with a shepherd, so that's not terrible. Not terrible at all. I didn't find the lurker, the one lurker. So I'm doing that partly because I don't can, partly because I think I can find my lurkers better than he can. Here's one of them, so... Wow, what a hand. At least the estate is useful. So I'll take the lost city, then throw these back in here. Play one of these. Ah, familiar first. Border guard. Take the shepherd. Ah, we take the guard. We take the shepherd. 
know, let's take the estate, sorry. Um, yeah, I'll take the trader because I know I have curses coming. It's, it's not, it's probably not right, but whatever. Anyways, so trash this, don't trigger that shuffle again. Playing super brazy, super brazy with that um, lurker. We put an estate in there. Uh, do we have buys? Oh, we do. We have storeroom. Oh, okay, so I could get the estates out kind of fast. Maybe we'll see. Hey, look, province. I could probably buy a province at some point with the um storeroom. Maybe I don't know. Uh, speaking of storeroom, let's keep the storeroom this time. Uh, border guard. So we're looking for what do we get? Oh, lots of border guards. Looking for either the village, the lost city, or this thing. And then we'll play one more. Pick up this. Lost city, lost city. Shepherd down. Three things. Um, hmm. I'll take the trader, which is probably wrong. Do this. And should find Luca. Do find Luca. Okay, cool. So Luca picks that up. No. Actually, I want more shepherds. Okay, so I'm just gonna turn that there. I can only trash one curse, so we get rid of that for some money. Yeah, look at that. I can get the province. I feel fairly confident in my ability to get there. We'll just take the estates for now, just for fun. I say fun, but my opponent can also get two buys. Trash is a curse. Province? No. Okay. I like. I could get another storeroom too. I have three buys. All right, cool. So, I should get something like province, something anyway. Anyways, we'll see if we get anything good. It's not a good start in hand. Border guard. Border guard. Seen too many border guards there. Yeah, it's not good start in hand at all. Lost city, lost city. Familiar. Solo shepherd. What does this have? What is, okay, I'll take the familiar, whatever. I could take a silver instead of the familiar, sure. Alright, lost city. Border guard. I don't know why I did that. It seems like a bad shuffle. No, it's not that bad. I have things in there. So what do I get rid of? The Luca, this thing. I've played both shepherds. Let's just get rid of three. It's probably right though. I should have discarded for money there. Whatever. Okay. So hooray, I only have three. Let's get another storm. And and by his top deck the border guard. So the border guard did let me play my lurkers more often. Um, which is good. This is game because these two estates are gone, yeah. Okay, very good. What time is it? Alright. Is 610 i think we should stop here uh, for today uh, thanks to Cyrix for playing so many games with border guard um what are your thoughts Cyrix, on border guard share with the um nice people of the internet um for me i see it as a filter thing there seem to be a few more tricks you can pull with it it obviously works well with things that control the top of the deck, Cartographer, Sia, and it lets you cycle, which can be important in certain games. Yeah, so Cyrix is saying in the chat here, Border Guard seems pretty nice. It does some stuff. So, yeah, I agree. They are declining returns at some point.
So like if you draw your entire deck, there's no point to the border guard really. If you see it at the end of a shuffle. Yeah, it is a cantrip too, which is nice. Like even to open with it seems okay. Like you that game with the remake, opening that remake seemed very, very nice. Just to find the remake very quickly. And then you have choices between horn and lantern, right? I ended up taking the horn more often first than the lantern, but that will change depending on the situation of the game, of course. Better than silver, yeah, better than silver. Yeah, because it cycles through two cards, which is very good. Very, very good. All right, so we, we looked at uh, villagers last episode, so to speak, and we looked at artifacts in this one. I think we will look at projects in the next episode of, of Renaissance. So in the meantime, thank you for watching, and I'll see you. If you have any choices of projects, uh, let me know.